I'm um, Andre Nissenzweig, and I uh, am an investigator in the intramural program of the NIH at the National Cancer Institute, where I have been uh, working for approximately 25 years. So the uh, BRCA proteins, BRCA1 and BRCA2, function in a pathway um, that's important for repairing DNA double-stranded breaks, DNA damage in the cell in a pathway called homologous recombination. Um, and their loss leads to the accumulation of DNA damage because they can't repair the um, uh, breaks. And this accumulation of DNA damage uh, leads to mutation and predisposition to different cancers, particularly breast and ovarian uh, cancers. But paradoxically, um, it also leads to a uh, stronger response to chemotherapeutic agents that trigger uh, DNA damage. And um, before our work, it was thought to be virtually impossible in the BRCA-deficient tumors to reverse this homologous recombination uh, deficiency, uh, that, that one could restore homologous recombination, except for the case of reversion mutations in which BRCA proteins were spliced back and, and you could restore it. But we found, quite by accident, um, that loss of another DNA repair protein called 53BP1 could largely restore homologous recombination in BRCA1 deficient uh, cancers. Um, and this has therapeutic uh, implications because if you restore homologous recombination, then you're no longer sensitive to the chemotherapeutic agents. And, and therefore, this is one mechanism, uh, and there are many of them, but this is one mechanism by which um, tumor cells, BRCA1 deficient tumor cells, become resistant to chemotherapy. So it has important um, therapeutic uh, implications. The uh, recipient of the Global Prize, both um, for personal uh, uh, reason as also scientific. So I am actually a son and brother of a BRCA1 uh, carrier. Um, so it's really uh, significant to me um, that I would be involved in this uh, award. Um, and secondly, I'm following in the um, the really pioneering work of other investigators who have uh, won this uh, Global Prize. Um, um, Mary Claire King and Alan Ashworth, who discovered the BRCA uh, genes, um, and uh, uh, David Livingston and Mira Jason, who uh, discovered the function of BRCA genes in homologous recombination, um, and, and, and the others. So I'm really humbled and honored to be considered for this prize. Um, a problem I see um, that I would hope that could be addressed is how to prevent um, uh, tumors in the BRCA carrier. So you know you have the mutation and you know you have a higher probability to develop cancer. How do you prevent the cancer from uh, forming? And I think um, some options in now include preventive surgery, but is that the only is that really the only way to um, prevent cancer? So I think if we understood better, maybe at the mechanistic level, the loss of heterozygosity in the BRCA carriers, that is why the carriers change from being normal cells to cancer cells, we might be able to figure out ways to prevent uh, the cancer from occurring in the first place. Uh, the other really important issue, I think, is I mentioned before reversion mutations that restore homologous recombination. So the cells are no longer sensitive to chemotherapeutic agents. How do you target these cells that will, that become proficient in homologous recombination? How do you deal with them? And I think that's a problem that um, I'm starting to work on that, uh, but there is a, a lot to, to, to um, a lot to be learned, I think. and continues to impact the field, uh, both by the uh, research uh, support that it's providing, the clinical care of the uh, patients, um, and um, also um, getting researchers together, such as in the symposium today, particularly basic researchers and clinical researchers. You don't usually see uh, these two groups of people in the same room discussing these problems and potentially 
uh, starting important collaborations. So I, this is a you know wonderful opportunity to meet for me for meeting uh, clinicians and thinking, being able to communicate and potentially collaborate with them on this problem.